Okay, now this question is about rationalizing. <coughs> so in your exam, you might be asked to rationalize. Now, what does rationalizing mean? It means that you're trying to get rid of the third, which is at the bottom here. So how do we do that? Well, before we get started, uh, let me show you a few facts that you need to remember in order to solve that question. The first fact is, if you multiply two thirds, so let's say for instance I've got square root of 2 times square root of 2, the answer is 2. If you've got something like square root of 4 times square root of 4, the answer is 4. And the reason why it works is because if I take the square root of 4, the answer is 2. If I take the square root of 4 again, the answer is 2, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so whenever you're multiplying two sets that are the same, the answer is the number underneath the square root. Right, now, let's go ahead and try to use that fact to rationalize this expression. So I've got 6 plus root 8 divided by root 2. To get rid of the square root, what I could do is multiply that by root 2, but I'm also going to multiply the top one by root 2. And the reason why that works is because if you do square root of 2 divided by square root of 2, that's the same thing as having 1 here. And if I multiply the whole fraction by 1, it stays the same, so I'm not changing anything to the fraction. And I also know that if I multiply square root of 2 times square root of 2, that's going to change to 2. So therefore, I've eliminated the thirds from the bottom. So let's have a look. At the top, I've got 6 plus root 8 times root 2. Now, the top part is uh, needs to be in bracket because I'm going to multiply the square root of 2 with the 6 and the 8. So this is what we get. Now, I'm going to bring the square root of 2 to the front. So don't get confused. And I'm going to multiply with the top bracket. So I've got 6 plus root 8 and at the bottom I have root 2 times root 2 and we've just seen before that root 2 times root 2 is equal to 2 okay now if I expand the brackets I get root 2 times 6 gives me 6 root 2 plus root 2 times root 8 gives me root 16. Whenever you're multiplying two roots, you just multiply the numbers together. So 8 times 2 is 16. And at the bottom, I still have my 2. Right, I'm going to carry on here. So, so far we have 6 root 2 plus root 16 over 2. So now let's go ahead and simplify the top. If I simplify the top, 6 root 2, I can't simplify it, so I leave it as it is. Root 16 is equal to 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. And I'm going to divide this by 2. Now, finally, um, I'm going to simplify uh, this expression. And to simplify it, here I've got 6 root 2 over 2 plus 4 over 2. So what I can do is just split it up and write it as 6 root 2 over 2 plus 4 over 2. This is the same thing as that. The only difference is I just split it up here and I've put that term over 2 and the 4 over 2. Now here we've got 6 divided by 2. It gives me 3 and I'm left with square root of 2 plus 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. And there's my final answer. They might ask you to write it in the form in the form p root 2 plus q. Now if you look at that form and our final answer, you can see that the p represents the 3, the 2 represents the 2 here, and the q represents the 2, and they look the same. So this is how you go ahead and uh, rationalize a, a, um, a fractional set. Okay.